In this video, I present an alternative method for removing the nucleus during phacoemulsification surgery. The eye is anesthetized with preservative-free lidocaine and then the anterior chamber is filled with viscoelastic. The anterior chamber is entered with a keratome and a continuous tear curvilinear capsularexis is performed using the utrata forceps. The hydrodissection cannula is then placed under the anterior capsule and the hydrodissection is continued until one pole of the nucleus prolapses into the anterior chamber. A second instrument is then placed behind the lens and the nucleus is cracked between the second instrument and the phaco tip. Once the nucleus has been cracked in half, the nuclear material may be removed using standard quadrant settings on the FACO machine. Additional cracking or chopping maneuvers between the second instrument and the FACO tip can facilitate the rapid removal of the remaining nuclear material. Once the harder nuclear material has been removed, the residual epinuclear and cortical material are removed with standard irrigation and aspiration techniques. Once the cortical material has been completely removed from the eye, the intraocular lens implant is inserted and centered in the capsular bag. The residual viscoelastic is evacuated using the irrigation and aspiration cannula. Finally, the wound is hydrated and checked to be sure it is watertight. 